So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in Z W Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's up YouTube, this is Joe from Zeph4 Games and I'm bringing to you guys, as you can see, a proxy deck profile for Sun Avalons. Now, if you guys are a fan of the channel, or if you're a fan of my content on the channel, or just, in fact, just, if you're just a fan of this channel, and you know me, you know I love this deck. I loved Spectre and his deck and the way that it plays and everything about it. And so when it got revealed that Sun Avalon is being printed for both TCG and OCG. OCG currently have it at the moment as of recording this video. And we'll be getting it in March. But I don't want to wait that long. And I have actually ordered some OCG, official OCG cards from Japan. And I'm waiting for them to arrive in the post. But also, I don't want to wait to give you guys a profile. And a combo at the end as well. Now this is a combo and profile which I found here on YouTube. And um, I took the profile and implemented my own ratios and my own choices for both main and extra deck. But the combo still remains intact and you will be seeing that at the end of the video. It's a two card combo which gives you two disruptions as well as two of your ace monsters on board as you'll see at the end. So... With all that said and done, if you enjoy this, give us a like and subscribe down below. Ding that notification bell because obviously if you enjoy a person's content here on YouTube, you don't want to miss out on that content. And that notification bell helps prevent that. And all of that is greatly appreciated and we thank you guys so much for doing so. So, with all that said and done, let's get into this um, uh, Sun Avalon profile. So, as well as I want to give a quick big shout out to... The lovely Alan Mac ninety five there on DeviantArt. That's his channel. That you his um web page that you can go and get your own amazing Sun Avalon proxies. And not only just Sun Avalon, he does he or she because I'm not sure. Um, they do amazing proxies for all newly revealed cards as well as some anime ones as well. If you want to make some anime focused decks. But if you want to play around and play test with brand new, newly revealed cards, go visit their DeviantArt again. There it is, nice and uh, readable for you guys, and print out your own proxies. Amazing, amazing work. Thanks again, Alan. Like, great, great work. So, starting off with the vanilla itself, Sunseed Genius Loki. Literally, it's just here to be your vanilla. You can arguably use any plant vanilla. It doesn't have to be Guinea Sloggy, but I'm playing a Sun Avalon deck. I might as well use the Sun Seed itself to grow into my mother trees. Um, if you're not a viewer of Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains, you won't know why I said mother tree. But this is my main um, difference between the original profile um, the original build in this one and as I'm playing three copies of Sunsea Shadow So if you don't know what Sunsea Shadow does is that is a level one plant effect monster of zero attack and 400 defense If you control a plant normal monster you can special summon this card from your hand You can banish this card from your graveyard then target one of your linked link two or lower Sun Avalon or Sun Vine monsters Special summon one monster with the same name from your X deck but negate its effects. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except plant monsters. You can use each effect of Sun Seed Shadow once per turn. What I like is that it's a free summon extender just by itself, but also allowing you to easily link line into your higher tree monsters or your higher link monsters, depending on how your extra deck is built. Just bear in mind you are locked into plants if you do use its secondary effect, but just the fact it is a free extender can really help unbrick some of your hands and turn your what is your normally your two card combo if you don't open up with the vanilla um, into like three card combos if you open up something like this as well as some other cards in the deck. But I really like Sunsea Shadow. You don't necessarily have to play it free. I'm even thinking of dropping this down to two as well as another card in the deck which I'll get to later 
and put in some uh, ghost second cards because this deck is a stronger second is a very stronger second deck to be honest considering it just gets big monsters, wipes like just beats over your opponent's board and even steals their board as well. But um, the way that this is built with the combo in mind, you can actually go and build a strong board going first, which I mentioned earlier. Um, but so I'm thinking of dropping this down to two to put in some more go second cards. So it should be pretty, pretty good. But moving on, we have three copies of Evil Form. Just such a good plant monster at the moment. Um, just really helps get your deck going if you didn't open up with the vanilla. Um, just being able to summon this, burn your pen for 300 and then get two bodies on board, which is very, very nice for your link lines. Three copies of Lone Fire. This is actually the other card I'm thinking of dropping down to two with the Shadow to put in some Kaijus in the deck. I was thinking which Ghost Second cards would work well for this deck and I think Kaijus would just work best. Because um, again, your monsters, like your Thrasher, um, can get up to very strong high attack and I don't really want to remove the damage that that Thrash is going to do. So I don't want to put things like Dark Ruler no more um, in, like at the moment. Something Kaijus can work just because it gets over the threat that I don't want to deal with. Go up from my board, punch through the rest of the negates do while doing so, get that slasher, attack over and deal some damage and steal their monsters. So yeah. But yeah, so Lone Fire, I'm thinking of dropping it down to two, just because it's great because it helps you get that um Guinness Loki um or anything else that you need. But it, we got other ways to get to Guinness Loki, so I'm thinking of dropping down the Lone Fire. Two copies of Bold Carrot Champion. This is probably the only brick in your deck, quote unquote, just because in the combo you need to summon this from the deck. So if you played only one copy and you opened it, which I did initially at the start, it hurts. So like you just literally can't do the combo. So I upped the World Carrot rate to two just so that I should I won't have that problem. I mean, if I open up with both copies in my hand, then just literally lady luck is just not looking down on me at that point and it's nothing i can really do um so i'm playing the two copies just to help mitigate that brick in the deck to allow me to do that combo then we have the one spore part of your combo which helps you go into your synchro play as well as the aroma mage l'oreal now she's really part of the combo as well an amazing extender as well just in general but you're seeing a combo why she is very good and uh, so that's it for the plant monsters and as he wanted to really jump onto the board we're playing two copies of trick clown and two copies of black wings of frosty elite so what's really cool is that you can proc the damage yourself to help trigger your plants um to help trigger your mother trees to get your extenders and go off your combos and these are the best ways to do so trick clown and want to up to three once i once my extra copies arrive in the post because i didn't have enough copies of trick clown for some bizarre reason so I want up this to three and reduce the Zephyros to one, um, just because Zephyros is a once per duel, whereas Trick Clown isn't. Um, so it's very very nice. As well as Zephyros, you need to bounce the card to hand. So unless you have, if, unless you don't have that additional target to do so, it can hurt a little bit. So I want the flexibility of that Trick Clown is where he, as long as he goes to the Great God, you you summon him back and take the thousand damage, which then triggers your trees. Um, but at the moment, 2-2 two two works very well. But again, I want to play 3 Trick Clown and 1 Black Ring. Uh, and then I'm playing 2 copies of Rescue Rabbit. You really want to get to your vanilla Loki as soon as possible. And Rescue Rabbit is another way of doing so. Why aren't I playing 3 Rescue Rabbit? Because Rescue Rabbit is the most annoying thing to hurt if it gets stopped. If your Rescue Rabbit gets stopped, you're literally in a dead spot. The other thing I'm thinking of swapping out Rescue Rabbit for are these um just to have additional vanillas um the whole point of rescue rabbit is to get to your vanilla arguably you could just swap it out for two additional vanillas why this one because it looks like if you look at the tree artworks it looks like this really resembles the character coming out of the trees um so i picked this one but it can be any addition it can be any plant vanillas i just picked this one for artistic reasons um yeah so if you don't want to play rescue rabbit if you're like me, if you think, oh, I don't want my Rescue Rabbit to get ashed or like faded or anything like that, and if it does, it will kill me, then just play two additional vanillas. Um, li literally, that's the only thing that you have to do. 
moving on, we're playing three copies of Ash Blossom. This can be any hand trap that you want. And then one copy of Pranquitops, as well as going into the spells, we're playing one Regeki. This is to help you go second. Um, this is literally the only reasons why they're in here. They're just cheap budget alternative options that you can play to help you go second that I just had lying spare. So I picked these. But again, I'm thinking of taking out one Shadow and one Lone Fire Blossom to put in two Kaijus. So it would be a Regeki, a Pranquitops, and like two Gamma Seals. Well, like a Gamma Steel and a Sticky String. So that way you have the option that if you do, you can Kaiju one and then give yourself a Kaiju. So that's what I'm thinking of messing around with. But uh, so far, the, the way that it's built at the moment is testing brilliantly. Like it, it plays so well. Three copies of Unexpected Die is just literally a genius lucky, which is what it is. And it's amazing. You play free. One, one for one. I'm hoping this goes up to two on the next ban list or ban list down the line to help promote this deck and other level one decks. So, but no matter whatever ratio is that one for one it is on the ban list, you play it, which at the moment it's at one. Two copies of Puff Avarice because you burn through your extra so much and so quickly. And so being able to shuffle your extra back while netting you two draws is very, very nice with part of Avarice. One copy of Foolish Burial to be able to dump your carrot weights or your shadows if you want to combo off with that or a Trick Clown or a Zephyros. Like this is an additional way to get that burn damage in your combo, which is very, very nice. And two copies of Sunvine Shrine. Sunvine Shrine is such a good card. Um, I wanted to play it too just because one for your initial combo and one for your recovery play because literally this searches your shrine and then in the later games this any card any plant in your deck is a recovery play because your recovery you turn your plant into this which then this searches this and then you just need a discard get back your loki and go off with your place which is very very nice which is why i played two copies of it to have that recovery play option one copy of monster reborn one copy of call by the grey because it's at one at the moment and one copy of Sun Avalon Bloom and one copy of Blessed Wind. So I just remember I did not read what this does. So Sun Vine Shrine is a continuous card. Activate this card by sending one card from your hand to the graveyard while you control a Sun Avalon Link monster. You cannot special some monsters from the extra except plant monsters. Once per turn, you can special some one level for or lower plant from your um, from your graveyard. During your opponent's end phase, you can send this face up card you can on the, from the field to graveyard. Then target one continuous trap in your graveyard, set it to your spell and trap zone. So, I believe that is the text because I remember Alan did have the anime versions, but I believe this the these are the official texts. Um, which mainly you're only going to be using this for the recovery play of. Activate by scanning card and then once per turn you can revive a vanilla normal which both copies of the card do that But yeah, really really good card Sun Avalon Bloom Which is a continuous trap card when this card is activated if you control a link for a higher plant link monster Negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent controls During damage calculation if your plant link monster battles you can make that monster gain attack Equal to the total attack of all monsters it points to until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. You can only use this effect of Sun Avalon Bloom once per turn. You can only activate one Sun Avalon Bloom per turn. Very, very strong card. You search this off your Link 4, and then you've got essentially a uh, once activated skill drain. Essentially, like it's just a whole board negate. Like it's literally a Dark Ruler no more in a trap card that's searchable. And you play this because you search it off your Synchro. It's very, very nice recovery card. Um, so that's it for the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck. Because we're coming up to 14 minutes now. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Starting off with your Link 1s. Three copies are Sun Avalon Drias. So Drias is your Link 1, which requires one plant, one level 4 or lower plant monster. has zero attack and defense Link 1. If this card is linked summoned to the extra monster zone using Sunseed Genius Lucky as material, you can add one Sunvine Spell or Trap from deck to hand. Cannot be targeted for attacks, but does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly. Once per turn, if you take battle or effect damage, 
you gain that much life points and if you do, special summon one sun vine from your extra deck. So you trigger this with your trick clown or your Zephros, you gain that damage back and then you get a free link from your extra to then go off with your plays. We're playing two copies of Son Avalon Dryades. So Dryades is a Link 2 which requires two plant monsters including a Sun Avalon Link monster. Cannot be targeted for attacks but does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly. Up to twice per turn if you take battle effect damage you can gain that much life point and if you do special summon Sunvine from your extra deck. Basically Dryades but double. And then we have Sun Avalon Dryadorm. So Dryadorm is a Link 3 with 0 0. It takes two plus plant monsters. Cannot be targeted for attacks but does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly. Up to Thrice per turn if you take battle effect damage, you gain that much life points. And if you do, special summon Sun Vine from your extra deck. Once per turn, when a monster this card points to is a target for an attack, you can negate that attack. And if you do, move that monster you control to another of your main monster zones. So it helps unclog your link zones to then keep going off with the summon from the extra deck. And then we have your big big boss, Sun Avalon Dreatrine. So it's a link 4 which takes 2 plus link monsters which is very very nice. If this card is link summoned you can add one Sun Avalon spell or trap from deck to hand. Cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. Also cannot be targeted for attacks but does not prevent your opponent from attacking directly. Once per turn, you contribute one Link monster this card points to, destroy cards your opponent controls up to the attributed monster's Link rating. Very, very strong card. The only downside to this is that it does not have the summon from the extra deck effect like the others do, but you're honestly you're going to be building these up, using all those up, and you go into this, and then you get your negation, and then you can start punching your opponent. So that's it for the Sun Avalons. Next, so we're going to the Sun Vines. We have Sun Vine Gardener, Sun Vine Healer, and three copies of Sun Vine Thrasher. Or Slasher is probably going to be. No, Slasher was the OCG name, but now it's going to probably be Thrasher. So, Sun Vine Gardener is, takes a plant normal monster. All of these take plant normal monsters, the Sun Vines. This one's 600 attack. If a Sun Avalon Link monster or monsters you control leads to field by card effect, destroy this card. When an attack is declared involving this card linked to a Sun Avalon Link and an opponent's monster, um, yep, you can activate this effect. The battle damage you take from that battle is halved. When this card is destroyed by battle, you can activate this effect in the battle phase after damage step. You're not really going to be using this for this effect, you're mostly going to be using this as an extender. So honestly, it could just be a second healer, but I like to play one of each at the very least for pleasing, like, look reasons. Like, look, look. For good looks, to be honest. Sunvine Healer, one plant link normal monster, 600 attack. If a Sun Avalon link you, monster or monsters you control leads to field by card effect, destroy this card. If this card is special summon, you can target one Sun Avalon link monster on the field. Gain life points equal to its link rating times 300. When your plant monster bat, uh, when your plant monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can gain 600 life points. Then we have our main damage dealer, our main boss monster in terms of attack power is Sunvine Thrasher. One plant normal monster, 800 attack. If a Sun Avalon link you control leaves the field, destroy this card. If this card is special summon, you can target one Sun Avalon link monster on the field. This card gains attack equal to its link rating times 800. When this card destroys a point of fire battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can special summon that monster to your zone a link monster points to, but negate its effects. Amazing card, I love Thrasher. He's my favourite out of the Sun Avalons. Then we have two Aroma, Aroma Seraphy Jasmine and the one Aroma Seraphy Sweet um, Majorome. These are part of your combo. Um, which you'll see right now before this video gets ridiculously long. It's already 19 minutes. So there's a lot of ways that you can perform the combo once you've learned the deck and everything like that. But your initial way of doing it is with any way to get to Loki. So it could be Loki itself or a unexpected dying thing like that. And either Trick Clown or your Black Green Zephros the Elite. So I'm going to zoom out. There we go. And do this combo. So, 
You will normal summon your Loki, you'll link your Loki off into Sun Avalon Duridus in the extra monster zone. Duridus activates and gets you your Sunvine Shrine to your hand. Next, you'll activate your shrine to send your Trick Clown to Graveyard on activation, which then triggers Trick Clown to summon itself back. Do you take the thousand damage? Duridus activates, gaining that thousand life points back and summons the Sunvine from the extra deck. It can be any Sunvine, to be honest. We're going to go with Gardener. Next, we're going to use Duridus and Gardener to link summon into our first Aroma Seraphy Jasmine. Jasmine's going to activate and send Trick Clown to Grave and then summon a plant from our deck. So we're going to summon our World Carrot Rate Champion. Bear in mind when you summon the Trick Clown, it has to be in the center zone because for Jasmine to tribute it, it has to point to it. So just do bear that in mind. From there, you're going to use your, shun your Shrine's effect to revive a vanilla monster from our graveyard. We're going to revive the Loki. From here, we're going to use our Carrot Rate Champion to link Summon into a second copy of Sun Avalon Threadis. Next, we're going to use our Loki to link Summon into Sun Vine Healer. We're going to use Healer's effect to target the Dreadus and gain 300 life points. Next, then, triggers Jasmine's effect. Since we gain life points, we can add a plant from deck to hand. We're going to add Oro Mage Laurel. If you have Laurel in your hand, you could just add any plant to your hand, which doesn't then matter, which is pretty good. The only brick that you'll see after this combo is that the fact you have Summon Carraway from your deck. From here, we're going to use Laurel's effect since we our life points are higher than our opponents, which they are going to be by 300. We're going to special summon Laurel from our hand. From here, we're going to use Laurel and Healer and make a second copy of a Romesh Seraphy Jasmine. And now Laurel activates. Since it was sent to Graveyard from the field, we gain 500 life points, which triggers Jasmine's effect again. Its first effect to tribute a monster and summon a plant from the deck is once per turn, a hard once per turn, but the second effect to add isn't, which is crazy. As long as you can gain life points. So from there, we're going to add Spore. From here, we're going to use Jasmine's, both our Jasmine's, and make Sun Avalon Driotinier. Driotinier activates and adds Sun Avalon Bloom, the trap card from deck to hand. We're going to activate Carrot Rate's effect in Grave. Since it's in the graveyard, we can send a plant from hand to Grave and special summon itself back. From here, we're going to use Spore's effect to banish our copy of Laurel from our grave to summon itself back, becoming a level two. We're going to use our level two Spore and our level four carrot rate to make Aroma Seraphy Sweet Majorone. And we're going to activate its first effect. If this card is synchro summon, you can add one Humid Rings, Dread Rings, or Blessed Winds from deck to hand. So we're going to add Blessed Winds. And then we're going to set our two traps. And that's our board. If you don't know what Blessed Winds does, is that you can activate one of the following effects. Send a plant from the hand or face up on the field of graveyard, gain 500 life points. Target a plant in your graveyard, shuffle into the deck. When you do, gain 500, then gain 500 life points. Pay a thousand life points to special summon on a Worma from your graveyard. So, why is this a disruption? Because it combos well with this. Is that if you gain life points, target a card your opponent controls and destroy it. And you can use each of the each you can use this once per turn. So this becomes a disruption by shuffling any of these back into the deck, which is very, very nice. Then we have this on the field as well as our Dreadus. So if when we do take damage, Dreadus can summon a Sunvine from our extra deck, which then can be a Fasher, which can then target this and become a 4k beat stick. Then we have this on the field, our Sunvine Bloom, which when our opponent starts comboing off, and we go, okay, Bloom, negate it. Very, very nice. And that's the combo, guys, as well as the deck profile. 25 minutes, but I love this deck so much. I can't wait to have this in official cards, both my OCG copies 
and the TCG copies in March when it does get released. So if you enjoyed this, give us a like and subscribe down below. Ding that notification bell. Till next time, guys, as always, stay safe and happy dueling.